Hello friends, my name is Akshan and welcome to CAD Academy. In this lecture, I will be teaching about magnetic field due to different types of current distributions. The first one is line current. Okay. For line current, it's simply about Seward law. Let's say this is the conductor. Okay. And it is carrying a current of I amperes. Let's take a small amount of length which is TL and the small amount of current passing through this TL length is DI. Okay. But this thing all thing is in series, so this DI will be same as the I because the current passing here, here, here all will be equal to I. Okay. So according to Beard Severed law, we know that dB is equal to mu by 4 pi and then I dot dl by R square cross R cap. Okay, so to get the full magnetic field density, we have to integrate both sides. Here we will get magnetic field density mu by 4 pi and this integration will be with respect to length which will be i dot dl by r square cross of this direction. So this is simply about Severed law and when we are considering a surface current surface current let's say we have a surface here okay and the current moving in this direction okay so the amount of current moving here is k okay k amperes per meter so surface current is denoted by k and the line current is denoted by i and the volume current we will see further which is denoted by j so this unit of k is amperes per meter there here we wrote i dot dl but here we have to write k dot da okay rest of the things is same like this by r square cross r cap okay is equal to db so b will be mu by 4 pi integration of surface current with respect to the area by distance square into r cap okay this distance is what from the surface to the point where we are calculating the magnetic field density one thing you must notice is i dot dl is same here k dot da okay the unit of i is ampere unit of this thing is meter so this thing became ampere meter okay here also the unit of sheet current is ampere per meter okay this and unit of our area is meter square so this is again becoming the ampere meter okay and further we will see the volume current which will be j dot dv and that things unit will also be ampere meter okay so let's discuss that also so volume current okay now let's say we have a volume like this okay and current is moving like this so again here we will take the small amount of volume 
which has volume of dv and the current passing volume current passing is j okay in first case we have written i dot dl in second case we have written k dot da and in this case we will write j dot dv okay so not taking it lengthy b is mu by 4 pi okay this is the volume current r square into r cap okay directly putting in this formula i am just writing instead of this thing j dot dv okay one thing which is j dot dv so here the unit of j is ampere per meter square okay so j dot dv will be unit of this thing is ampere per meter square and unit of this thing is meter cube so then we will have ampere meter okay so this comparison is just to remember the line current surface current and volume currents formula